You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. And welcome back. California reeling from a series of mass shootings these last three days. The deadliest was at a ballroom in Monterey Park this Saturday. One victim died in the hospital last night, bringing the death toll to 11. ABC's Juju Chang has the latest on the investigation. Harrowing new details as authorities try to piece together what led to the senseless killing of 11 people at a dance studio in Monterey Park, California. Investigators combing through evidence and scouring the home of the suspected gunman, identified by authorities as 72-year-old Hu Can Tran. We recovered one 308 caliber rifle, numerous electronic devices such as cell phones, computers, etc., Items that lead us to believe the suspect was manufacturing homemade firearm suppressors. Authorities adding that the firearm seen here on surveillance wrestled away from the suspect at a second dance hall was a 9mm semi-automatic assault weapon. Another handgun also found in his van. ABC News also learning a number of motives now being considered, including a potential domestic violence scenario. But investigators stress it's still too early in the probe to determine a more precise motive. We do not have a motive yet. There's a lot of stories coming forward. We're not ignoring any of them. Authorities say about 20 minutes after the shooting at Star Dance Studio, the suspect entered a second dance hall in neighboring Alhambra, where he encountered Brandon Say, who heroically wrestled the gun away. Say opening up about that brutal altercation exclusively to Robin Roberts. When I got the courage, I, I lunged at him with both my hands, grabbed the weapon, and we had a struggle. We struggled into the lobby, trying to get this gun away from each other. The fog of tragedy now illuminating stories of survival. I see on the table, under the table, because the, 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 the guy was uh, soothing. As soon as the gunfire erupted, Shally says she grabbed her dance partner, who was shot, and held him as they hid under a table, watching as the shooter reloaded the weapon. What did the gun look like? Was it long? Long gun. Uh -huh, long gun. Yeah. The way he do, 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 you know, and then I tell my partner, don't say anything. Just lay down. Hyung Bang, who was wounded in the leg, now grappling with the trauma. I um, feel so scary. I, I swear all my life I never go to dancing studio no more <laughs> we lift up those who are overnight grieving, grieving in monterey park as the community honors the memory of those lost including Sho juan yu valentino alvaro and 63 year old lee lan lee diana tom was 70 remembered by her family as a hard-working mother wife and grandmother who loved to dance Relatives say 65-year-old Mei Mei Nan was sassy and stylish. She loved ballroom dancing and cared deeply about her family. She was shot while driving out of the parking lot with her dance partner. She practically raised me. Yeah, she practically raised me, and she's like a second mother to me. So it's definitely hard.